up fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Deluxe Class Autobot Puffer and Autobot Road Ranger 2 pack from the Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy Golden Disc Collection from Hasbro. Uh, so just as with all the Golden Disc Collection releases, this is an Amazon exclusive. And the front of the packaging here just has the big quarter of the Golden Disc so that when you assemble all four boxes you'll be able to put it all together. You can see a little bit more of the disc on the top and the side of the package. Otherwise, it's just kind of bland. You got this green background with the Kingdom logo, the Transformers logo. Nothing about the figures here on the front. Uh, not really too much going on on the bottom or the side. But then on the back here, you have that kind of typical Kingdom motif where it kind of looks like you're inside a cave. And then you have uh, pictures of the robot modes and alt modes for the figures inside. And as you can probably tell right away that these guys are both repaint slash remolds of Huffer. Well, to be fair, Puffer's actually a repaint of Pipes, who isn't himself a repaint slash remold of Huffer. Uh, but Pipes isn't even out yet. I think it's kind of funny. This is actually coming out before Pipes. So that's just kind of random, but it is what it is. We're eventually going to have four of these little truck bots. So we'll have a fun little Transformer truck Sentai going on. It'll be a good time. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the packaging. So I'm going to go ahead, get them out of the box, and we will take a closer look. So here are the two figures out of the packaging. They both look really great. They did a really nice job with these. I think the color schemes are great. Paint applications all really sharp. If you're familiar with the Huffer mold at all, it is exactly the same. Well, Pipes is slightly different. We'll get to that. But I wanted to just bring Huffer in here real quick so you can see. And I'm going to actually move Puffer to the side. Just so that you can see these two really are exactly the same. They come with the same accessories. The chest molding is the same. It's really just the head sculpt that's different. Otherwise, they're pretty much the exact same figure, just with different color schemes. But yeah, they both look really good. So I'm going to put Huffer back off to the side here. And we'll take a quick look at Road Ranger. Now, I'm not super familiar with Road Ranger. I tried to look up his backstory. And apparently Road Ranger was a GoBot. But when he was a GoBot, he was kind of red and blue. And then there's some comic story where he came over into the Transformer universe. And now he looks like this. And I don't really understand. I tried to get the backstory. It didn't really make a lot of sense. So, um, you know, if you know more about it, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. Because I am interested. It sounds like an interesting story. And I, I mean, I was always a fan of the GoBots when I was a kid. Obviously, I like Transformers more. But, you know, GoBots have their charm. So, uh, I don't know how he went from a blue and red truck to a Halloween colored truck but I mean here it is but it looks good like I said really nice color scheme I absolutely love the red tinted windows I think that looks really sharp honestly this guy to me seems like more of a Decepticon with this color scheme he definitely especially the visor and everything he's got kind of an evil look to him so I'm kind of surprised he's an Autobot I'm okay with it I just think it's funny. I'm definitely getting more Decepticon vibes from his color scheme and his head, head design there. Uh, but like I said, he's got the same accessories as Huffer. So he's got this gun here. He's got the shield, which then you can incorporate into his vehicle mode. We'll get into that a little bit later. But otherwise, he's got really all the same articulation as Huffer. So you have the head can spin from side to side. You have a little bit of up and down. You can kind of look down. doesn't really look up all that much. Can't really tilt side to side all that much, but can certainly look side to side. You've got a swivel and a hinge here in the shoulder. You have a bicep swivel. You have more movement if I take the shield off. You can get full 90 degree out of the elbow there. Uh, nothing in the wrist because of the way it transforms. You have a waist swivel. You can kick forward. You can kick back. You can kick out to the side. So really nice range of motion there. Thigh swivel. You obviously have over 90 degrees in the knee because of the transformation. You have the ankle tilt. And then you have a little bit of movement here. Um, you can't really move this part of the foot front to back, but you can technically move this part, again, because of how it transforms. But I don't know that that's really meant to be used in that way, but technically you could. And then you can kind of move this back a little bit, depending on, you have a little bit of uh, option here, if you want it kind of more tilted close, if you want it kind of out to the side a little bit, just to make sure you don't impede the shoulder movement. I kind of like to have like a happy medium kind of right there in the middle. That way I can get full range of motion out of the shoulders. But yeah, it looks good. Really sharp paint applications. I like the color scheme. I think he looks really cool. I like him quite a bit. Alright, so up next let's take a look at Puffer. I really like this guy. It's a really fun color scheme. I think the blue looks great. I really like the white. I think the head sculpt looks good. And I want to bring Huffer back in so we can really point out the differences here. So right off the bat you can see different accessories. 
He's got these kind of smokestack guns that can peg into the side of his forearms. You can see how the chest is completely molded differently. This is meant to look more like pipes. And we have the cab hangs off the back now instead of being up here behind the head. So if you're familiar with the original Huffer toy, the pipes, original pipes toy was very similar, but it was just remolded slightly so that in the original toy, you'd have the truck like this, and then you would just kind of stand it up, swing the arms around, pull the legs down, and boom, there was Huffer. Well, when they did pipes, he would go like this, and then this would be all the way up here, and you would unhook it, it would swing around to the back, and then you'd have the stacks arms already right there, and you'd pull the legs down. So basically, they were kind of like mirrored, whereas this guy's back was this guy's chest and vice versa. So what they've done here, which I think is actually really smart, it's the same mold, they just mold the chest differently, and then this piece is a little bit taller, and you can see that there's a little joint in there, so all you do is swivel this around, and now you can have it like this if you want. So if you want to have them all look the same with the hood on the back like that, you can do that. Now unfortunately, Huffer does not have that piece, and if we bring in uh, Road Ranger, you can see he doesn't have it either. So only the ones that are molded off of pipes have that hinge with the swivel. So if I bring that back up again, you can see how he's got that swivel. So it's very simple. You just swivel that all around like that. And then there you go. Now, if you want a more traditional, like G1 cartoon or toy accurate look, you can put that all the way up on the back like that and have that jet straight out. If you want to kind of put it around there so you have a little bit on the back there, that's kind of where I like to keep it because also then it doesn't really get in the way of the waist swivel. Or if you want, you can kind of put it all the way down, as long as I don't unhook that body part. You can kind of put it all the way down if you want it more like that, so that it's really all in the back and not really behind his head at all. So you have some options, which is nice. Like I said, I kind of like to keep it around there. I think that looks pretty good. And I've unhooked his shoulders. There we go. Put them back in. But yeah, he looks good. I think he really did a nice job. The head sculpt is simple, but I like it. I really like the Autobot symbol there. I think that looks really cool. I love these smokestack cannons here for the forearms. I think that's really cool. If you don't want them attached, of course, you can just unpeg them. Very simple. So no problems there. And pipes is going to be the same way where you have the cab on the back as opposed to swung around. Now, where Puffer came from, back when pipes was originally being released, they did a European variant that was Huffer in the pipes color scheme. So fans have kind of dubbed him Puffer. That's where the name has come from. But it was the original Huffer mold in the pipes color scheme. So technically, this is not correct. You really should have it swung around like this because the original toy was Huffer in the pipes colors. So technically, this is more accurate to that original European variant G1 toy. But I personally like him to look more like pipes. So I'm going to keep it swiveled around like that. But if you want it to be more accurate to that European variant, you can go ahead and swivel that around so that he looks more like Huffer because it was the Huffer mold done in the pipes colors. That's Huffer, Pipes, Puffer. That's where it comes from. So you probably knew all that already, but in case you were unfamiliar with the little backstory there. But I think this guy looks great. I really do like him a lot. You have that little bit of kind of off-white gray to break up the white silver here on the arms. All in all, just really looks sharp, and I like him quite a bit. All right, so we're going to go into the transformation here with Puffer. We're going to start by just kind of straightening out the legs, flipping these sections around, and they will peg into the shins. And then you can snap the two legs into each other. Then you're going to come over here. You want to bring this section forward. This section here will spin around, just like so. We're going to bring these shoulder pieces down. They're going to unsnap. And you want to kind of angle the arms backward because that way they'll be in the direction you need them when you put this back together. But you also have to make sure there's enough clearance to pop these wheels out. So it can be a little difficult. There we go. Spin that head around 180 degrees. And then this whole thing is going to pop in and snap back into place. And then there are these tiny little tabs on the inside of the shoulders there. And they're gonna peg into these tabs that are on the waist. So peg those in. Then you're going to swivel 
the forearms 90 degrees and pop the hands down like so. Then this section is going to come in. You can see that there are these large tabs right here and they're going to fit into these little spots here. So this is going to kind of come down and then you want to... Sometimes you might have to move the arms out of the way and then bring them back in. There we go. So that's pretty much most of the transformation done because really all you're going to do is just swivel this around. Now there are two tabs here on the back of his thighs that are going to tab into these two little spots right here on the inside of his legs. And so that will all tab in. And there you go. That is the little truck mode. You can bring these back in and put these on the sides for the giant smokestacks. And here is your truck mode. Now, something I've noticed with this set that I really did not remember uh, with Huffer, but it is a problem. You have this really large gaping space here in the wheel well. And it's just kind of strange because when you think about it, so the wheels are, are level here and they will kind of roll. Let me move the camera down here so I can angle this in. So it will roll fine. But this whole front cab section of the truck really does just kind of float up here. And I wish you could push it down a little bit more because it just looks out of place. Like, the back looks fine, you have the smokestacks here, the wheel is fine, the front wheel. And then this just floats up here. And It's just so natural to want to push this down farther, but you can't because it kind of, you know, locks into the smokestacks there. And I've tried to look at it to see, like, if I didn't care about that, could I push it down farther? But you can see the, the hinge inside the cab, and it's just not really possible. So I'm not really sure why it's like that, and it, I can't believe I didn't really notice it with Huffer. And maybe I did and just forgot about it again because it's been a minute, but that's a really big gap of space there. I mean, I guess you won't have to worry about the, the wheel catching on anything. It's going to spin just fine, but uh, yeah, that's just weird. So here is Huffer, and you can see it is a problem with him as well. So, they look cool together. Um, but yeah, that, that that's my only problem. I mean, like I said, it rolls fine. It looks okay. But that's just a weird giant gap of space there, which is kind of a bummer. So, Road Ranger is going to transform pretty much exactly the same way. So, I'm going to run through it pretty quick. Straighten out the legs. Flip these around. Pegging into the shins. Click that all into place. Bring this back. This pops forward, bring the shoulders down, and then bring those wheels out, spin the head around, this clips back into place, bring this up and peg it into those tabs on the waist, spin the arms around. Fold down the fists, and then bring this down, and peg this into the arms there, and then flip this around. So there you go. Now the only difference with him is that he does come with those accessories. That shield can peg in here to the back, like so. And then you can take the gun and split it in two. And it's got these large uh, tab slots here, which you can peg in right here. So you will tab these in, one on each side. There we go. And one right there. And then it kind of just gives them like a little bit of a pickup truck look. Which I think looks pretty cool. Huffer could do this as well, uh, but Puffer can't because he doesn't have these accessories. So let's bring in all three now. So you can see we have one with the pieces attached, one without the pieces attached, and then one with the larger smoke screens. Smoke screens? Smoke stacks is the word I'm looking for there. But yeah, really cool. I think it's fun having three of these and I can't wait to get pipes. I think this is a really fun release. I remember back when I first saw pictures for Kingdom Huffer, and I was just so excited that he was finally getting his own mold, instead of always just being like a lazy repaint of a Legends class Optimus Prime or something like that. And I feel like this is just making up for lost time. It's a really fun little mold. It looks great as Huffer. It's going to look great as Pipes when I finally get a hold of that figure. And these two repaints here, I think, just make sense. 
Yes, they're a little bit more obscure references, but they are characters that were created back with the original G1 Huffer mold, so it makes total sense to do them here. The color schemes are great. Articulation, exactly what you'd expect, because we already saw it from Huffer. Uh, but I, I'm just happy with these. I'm really happy with these. I think they both came out really great. I don't really have anything to complain about. I will say that that large gap in the truck alt mode, you know, is a little off-putting. But if you were okay with it with Huffer, it's the exact same mold, so it doesn't really seem fair to lay into these two for that problem. It's a problem with the mold in general. It's not a huge problem. It doesn't look amazing, but it'll do. And honestly, the fun I'm having with these little guys, I'm willing to forget it. It's it's really just a really fun little mold, and I can't I can't stress enough how much fun I'm having with these little guys. I feel like I do need one more though. I want a full Sentai team of these little trucks. So if if Hasbro can give me at least one more, I think that'll do. Uh, but in any case, like I said, it's a really fun release. It is an Amazon exclusive, so if you're looking for this, definitely check Amazon.com. I think it's still in stock at the time of this video. So definitely head over there and try to grab one for yourself. I think it's a good time. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.